Hi and welcome to the Nocta YouTube channel. My name's Dan and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply our NTH1 thermal compound to all smaller size CPUs, such as Intel's LGA 1150, 1151, 1155 and 1156. If this is not your first time installing this heatsink, or you're replacing a pre-existing cooler, then you should first ensure that any residue to thermal paste from previous installations have been cleaned from the CPU and the heatsink. Isopropyl alcohol or cleaning wipes, such as the NASCW1, can be used, but if the residues are from the NTH1, they can also be easily cleaned with a moist paper towel or tissue. The application method that we recommend depends on the size of the CPU and the thermal compound that you're using. Please therefore ensure that you are following the correct video for your CPU and thermal compound type. When using the NTH1 on smaller size CPUs, first apply a single dot of thermal compound with a diameter of 3 to 4 millimeters at the center. Thanks to the excellent spreading properties of the NTH1, there is no need to manually spread the compound before installing the cooler. Simply put on the heatsink and you're ready to go. It should be noted that adding too much thermal paste can lead to higher CPU temperatures, so be sure to aim for the optimal amounts described in this video.